we want to write out all the functions f that map the set with elements one, two, and three to the set with elements a and b in two-line notation, where the set with elements one, two, and three is a domain, and the set with elements a and b is the codomain. Because we have three inputs, the elements of one, two, and three, and each input has two possible outputs, two times two times two is equal to eight, there are eight possible functions. Let's go ahead and label these eight functions, f sub one through f sub eight. In two line notation, we have the inputs in the first row and the outputs in the second row. For each function, the inputs are one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and put the elements of one, two, and three in each row one. And now let's determine all of the possible outputs. For function one, let's let all the outputs be A, meaning one maps to A, two maps to A, and three maps to A. For function two, let's let all the outputs be B, meaning one maps to B, two maps to B, and three maps to B. For function three, let's let one output be A, and two outputs be B. Let's let one map to A, two map to B, and three map to B. For function four, let's let one map to B, two map to A, and three map to B. And for function five, let's let one map to B, two map to B, and three map to A. And now for the next three functions, let's have two outputs of A and one output of B. Let's let one map to A, two map to A, and three map to B. Then let's let one map to B, two map to A, and three map to A. And finally, we'll let one map to A, two map to B, and three map to A. And now we have all eight possible functions. So for number one, how many functions are there? Again, there are a total of eight functions because for each of the three inputs, there are two possible outputs, and two times two times two is eight. Number two, how many of the functions are injective? A function is injective or one-to-one -one if every element of the codomain is an image of at most one element from the domain. Or we can say injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, but may have missing elements. Well, notice in this case, all the functions do have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, and therefore none of the functions are injective. Or we can say none of the functions are injective because every element of the codomain is not an image of at most one element from the domain. For example, for function one, the element of A from the codomain is an image of three elements from the domain. In function two, the element of B from the codomain is an image of three elements from the domain. And then for all the other functions, there is one element from the codomain that is an image of two elements from the domain. And therefore, once again, none of the functions are injective. So number two is zero. Number three, how many of the functions are surjective? A function is surjective or onto if every element of the codomain is the image of at least one element from the domain. Surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeated elements. So in this case, all the functions are surjective except function one and function two. Function one and function two do have missing elements from the codomain in the range. Function one is missing the element of B from the codomain in the range, and function two is missing the element of A from the codomain in the range. Functions three through eight are surjective though because surjective functions do not have missing elements from the codomain in the range, but may have repeated elements, which is the case again for functions three through eight. Or we can say more formally, functions three through eight are surjective because every element of the codomain is an image of at least one element from the domain. Functions three through eight gives us six functions that are surjective. How many functions are neither injective nor surjective? Well, if there are a total of eight functions, zero of which are injective, six of which are surjective, eight minus six is two, giving us two functions that are neither injective nor surjective. And those two functions are f sub one and f sub two. Again, f sub one and f sub two are not injective because injective functions do not have repeated elements from the codomain in the range, which functions one and two do. 
And the functions are also not surjective because surjective functions do not miss elements from the codomain in the range, which again, functions one and two do have. And then finally for number five, how many are bijective? Bijective functions are both injective and surjective because there are zero injective functions. There's no way we can have a bijective function and therefore number five is zero. A bijective function is a function where every element of the codomain is the image of exactly one element from the domain. Of course, this isn't possible because there are less elements in the codomain than there are elements in the domain. I hope you found this helpful.